One of the biggest kinds of all time is that of the American people voting on issues or position. That is the most absurd proposition since your vote counts. The American people vote on emotion, feeling, pulse, buzz, trends, feel, and will march in lockstep with the Ted Baxter sock puppet echo chamber media who tell them who's up and who's down. And what's even funnier is that you believe it. Hook, line, and stinker. Let me give you an example. Let's assume, arguendo, for the sake of argument, that all candidates, Democrat, Republican, whatever, listed their positions, what they're for and what they're against, their vision, their plans, the whole Megillah. Could you vote under those parameters only? Think instrument-rated voting. You can't see who said what. You just read their positions and vote accordingly. Could you do that? Of course you could. But what will you do when the person who actually espouses those ideas is somebody the media say is unattractive or doesn't have a chance? Better yet, I know folks who were Obama nation acolytes. I mean, it was cult-like. If I showed them today the positions that President Obama has taken and what he's done and what promises he's gone back on and flip-flopped on, they never have voted for anyone who do that. Unless, of course, they loved him or within the context of this political hypothetical, they would have never voted for anyone who would eventually prove to do the enumerated things that he ultimately did. But they loved him. And his image, and his speaking voice, and his style, and his panache, and his wife, and his family. I'll never forget, once I showed a friend who was one of the Obama nation cool leaders that the candidate who absolutely matched his political ideology was Dennis Kucinich. And he went nuts. Dennis Kucinich? Dandy? No way. You know what the problem was? His looks, the media dismissal. That's insane. Better yet, go back and remind your conservative friends of St. Ronald of Reagan and his position on raising taxes and cutting and running in Lebanon. Even better, one of the most progressive presidents was Richard Nixon. Read his record. But this doesn't make any difference because our image of a candidate is what we vote for. And what you'll see now is the most concerted and double-barreled attack on Dr. Ron Paul by all media, left, right, etc. They tell you he's insane, he's a lunatic, extreme, and in the annals of politics and cephalogy, when all media, liberal and conservative, the professional left and right, come after a candidate, that's my guy. He must be doing something right. Remember, you only take flack when you're over the target. Comment as you see fit.